What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanna show you a cool new feature we've implemented, uh, which are data templates. So let's dive deep into it. So what are data templates? So if we sign in first, we have here our new dashboard and data templates, you can see, we have it in the bottom below our data scans. And we have app templates and my templates. So templates are a way for you to basically save your data scans and quickly uh, run it whenever you want to. So it's a collection of filters and columns where you can easily uh, manipulate, add more columns, add more filters, or just rerun data requests fast without you know rebuilding it from scratch or setting the filters and columns. And we have a few data templates uh, built in in the platform which we created for you. So you can see here we have small cup cappers, we have earnings plays, we have news catalysts, and you can go over each one and see. Um, and we have the description also below. So for example, the small cup cappers, it basically pulls all NASDAQ NICE stocks that opened above a dollar, gapped up more than 20% and had a market cap of less than 500 mil. So you can rerun this and uh, you don't have to configure anything and you will just get the data results. You have earnings plays, so these are just, you know, pool of stocks that had earnings on the day. It fetches their financial data, and like cash, liability, and all of that stuff. So if we click on one of the data templates, we can see, like we said before, it's a collection of filters and columns, which are preset and built for you. So we can just go over the filters and take a look what actually is happening here. And you can configure all of this by yourself, but when you click on a template, you'll see what's already configured for you. So we have a filter for security class. So it says, uh, you know, give me all the stocks only and the ADRs. Uh, we have a filter for exchange. So it will pull only listed stocks from NASDAQ and IC. We also have a open filter price. Uh, so it will fetch stocks that had an open price greater than $1. Uh, here's a market cap filter. So we have market cap less than 500 million. And then we have the gap percent filter. So it says, give me all stocks that gapped up more than 20%. And in the columns, we have all the data points that will uh, be populated actually into the spreadsheet. So we have the symbol, we have the day, the exchange, the open, high, low, close volume. And then we have uh, you know some pre-market volume. We also configured to pull the time of high of day and low of day, the outstanding shares and some custom uh, data points. So these are the collections of filters and columns. And in order to use a template, you can just click use. And when you click use, you have to uh, fill out this first step. Okay, so you have to give it the name and the date range you wanna pull data for. And the rest of the steps, the filters, the columns and everything will be just pre-populated for you where you can just rerun it. So uh, we can say, for example, small cap run one, just give it a date range. And as you can see here, all of the filters are pre-populated already, so we don't have to configure the security class filter. We have a daily filters configured. So all filters are pre-populated as well as all the columns. So now we are in the column section and everything is uh, pre-populated, so we don't have to fill out or configure anything. Of course, we can add stuff when we use a filter. So for example, I can add here a news column if I want. Uh, for now, we won't add it, but <laughs> the possibility is there. So you can click review and you just run the data. And as you can see, it just runs like a normal data scan and it will fetch the results soon for us. Okay, so we refreshed quickly and we see it completed in like 10, 13 seconds. Um, and if we open it, we'll see it's just a normal uh, spreadsheet. And just like a normal data scan, we can do whatever we want with it. We can analyze the data. We can start you know, running our, our uh, metrics or our calculations, or we can download it. Whatever we want to do with it, we can do with the data. Uh, and it's very quick and very straightforward. So again, just to recap, we have app templates which are built in for you and they're created by us. Or we have uh, an option for you to add your own templates. And you can easily uh, duplicate one of the templates you like. So for example, 
if you like the 52 week high breakout template and uh, let's take a look at it so this uh, this pulls all listed stocks which broke the 52 week high so we have a custom formula here to set this and we are filtering only for stocks and ADRs and here's the columns we are pulling you can go over it on your own as well so if you want to duplicate it and add it as our own template we can just uh, click add to my templates then we can go to here to my templates and we see it duplicated here so we can easily duplicate templates um, we can create new ones for example you want to create a new one you can you just go here you click add templates and then you fill you, you fill in everything uh, your columns your filters everything you want and it's very useful like I said so if you have some kind of data scan that runs a lot and you just need to change to change the symbol ticker you can rerun the template and just uh, change the ticker um, for example let's say this template you can just rerun it give it a name or whatever and then just add a new uh, you know symbol and it will run the data scan only for this symbol so it's very quick and easy to run your data scans it makes much more sense when you have repetitive scans you need to run um, okay that's it for today thanks for tuning in we hope you like this new feature you can use our pre-built uh, data templates or you can create your own thanks